Hi guys, Sox Studio here, and for today, we are going to share on how we do our architectural post-production process using Adobe Photoshop CC. The version of Adobe Photoshop that we will be using is 2019. The version of Adobe Photoshop is quite important because lower versions might have different settings from the latest ones. For the exterior rendered image that we will be using on this video, we will be using the rendered image from the E46 Part 1. If you are interested in figuring out on how we were able to produce this rendered image, we suggest that you go check that video out. For the Lumion model that we will be using on this video, it is posted in our Gumroad website which is called E46.2. You can download the Lumion model for free or <coughs> The version of E46 is Lumion 10, so only people with Lumion 10 or higher versions of Lumion will be able to open the model. So let's open the exterior rendered image in Adobe Photoshop. Click the background layer and let's change it into layer 0. Then press OK. After that, press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Set the vibrance and saturation into plus 3. The haze would be plus 25. The clarity would be plus 50. And let's set the texture to plus 19. After that, let's adjust the settings. We are going to lessen the black elements on this image as well as the highlights. Alright, this is good enough. Press OK. After the camera raw filter, Let's add the Gaussian Blur effect. Hold Alt, then drag the layer 0 down. A layer 0 copy should come out. Then drag it above layer 0 without holding Alt. Change the normal setting into soft light, then adjust the opacity to 39%. Go to Filters, then select Blur, and under the Blur effect, select Gaussian Blur. Radius should be 5 pixels, then press OK. After the Gaussian Blur, let's add the High Pass effect. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E. A layer 1 should appear above layer 0 copy, then press Ctrl Shift U. The layer 1 should turn black and white. Change the normal setting into overlay and set the opacity to 25%. Go to filters and select others, then select high pass. Radius should be 10 pixels, then press OK. Let's now save this rendered image, create a folder, and we are going to name this image 1. Quality should be 12 and maximum. After that, let's open the previously saved image. Let's click the background layer and we are going to change this again into layer 0. Press OK. Press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Let's set the texture to negative 100 and clarity to plus 40. Let's adjust the settings. We are going to lessen the black elements again. Alright, this is good. Press OK. After that, we should add a bit of vibrance and saturation. So let's open the camera raw filter again. Press Ctrl Shift A. Let's set the saturation to plus 1 and vibrance would be plus 4. Okay, this is good. Press OK. Let's now save this rendered image. We are going to name this image too. Quality should be 12 and maximum. And that is pretty much much it for the post-production process. Here's the difference between the rendered image with just rendering it with Lumion and after applying the post-production with Adobe Photoshop CC. We hope that you learned something new from this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Special thanks to Danilo S. V. Costa, LP Da Kateklaki, MK Visualizer, Sharon Kumar, Rahat Arora, Walfred Martina, and Elisa Sevikova. 